Welcome to Bonito Brasil. Bonito is a small town popular as an ecotourism hub in the south of Brazil in the state of Mato Grosso do Sul, bordering the countries of Bolivia and Paraguay. Bonito is known for crystal clear rivers, stalactite covered caverns and caves, waterfalls and lakes, you'll see wild macaws and trees, and giant anteaters freely walking across farmland here. By air, you arrive at the Bonito Airport. It's about a 17-minute drive to the town of Bonito. There's no Uber, Grab, or ride-sharing apps in Bonito, and no shuttle buses or trains. You can arrange airport transfer by two ways. First, asking your hotel or hostel. Second, you can book through tour agencies such as Agencia Igarape Tour Vegans, Agencia H2O Eco Turismo Bonito Way. I had arranged my airport transfer through my hostel, Selena. Generally, if you pick your hotel or hostel anywhere near this main road that I've highlighted in red, uh, it's a pretty good location. This is where all the restaurants, uh, as well as tour agencies, convenience stores, and the locals generally uh, gather. Selena Bonito. Selena is a popular chain of hostels located in many countries. Selena Bonito was top. It had a promotion online where it was 50 Brazilian reels a night, which translates to $10 USD. It was spacious and had an excellent variety of amenities. It had an outdoor pool, a restaurant that sold pretty good food for reasonable prices. My favorite thing to get each morning here was a nice Americano breakfast for 35 Brazilian reels, $7 USD. I also really enjoyed the acai bowl, which was very rich. It also sold a variety of other items like pasta and burgers. It was extremely convenient to have the restaurant within the hostel, especially early mornings or when you're too tired to leave the hostel to get food. A kitchen if you wanted to cook, a cinema slash Netflix space, a sand volleyball court, and a spacious outdoor seating area. There was also a cute friendly dog that lived at the hostel if you were feeling a bit lonely. It's also an excellent location, five to seven minute walk to many restaurants, and Praga de Libertad, the Liberty Square Park. The hostel would also Host, sometimes host events such as live music where the locals would come to the hostel. There's a variety of eco activities you can do in Bonito ranging from snorkeling, waterfalls, scuba diving, canyoneering based on asking other hostel guests and other tourist guides. If I had to pick two because I had limited time, they recommended first Rio da Prada, a snorkeling river activity because Bonito is known for its crystal clear waters, and second Boca da Anza. A uh, hiking activity to see multiple waterfalls. Rio da Prata. This tour takes about five to six hours, 300 Brazilian reels, $60 USD, with lunch included. The tour started at 9 30 a.m. and ended around 2 p.m. After showering and lunch, you can expect to leave at 3 30 p.m. When arriving at the farm, there's free roaming geese, parrots at the entrance. Once you get into the water, the water is pristine clear with many fishes in the river, unbothered by our presence. Overall, it's a nice farm and facility with a restaurant and fireplace to warm up after being too long in the water. I do wish the facility encouraged guests to shower first and avoid sunscreen, lotions, mosquito repellents before going into the river to avoid polluting it. Waterfall Boca da Onça. This tour takes four to five hours, 280 Brazilian reels, $58 USD, with breakfast and lunch included. You arrive around 8 a.m. where you can enjoy a free all-you-can-eat breakfast. The tour guide and the group leaves at 9 a.m. and the tour finishes around 2 p.m. You can enjoy an all-you-can-eat lunch afterwards. 
It's a very nice hike, not too difficult, mo mostly flat ground. There are nice places to take a dip in the river with mini waterfalls that you can dip under. Very refreshing. Again, I advise avoiding sunscreen and mosquito repellent before going into the water to avoid polluting the water. Posto Orrera Open 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. It is a gas station slash convenience store slash a restaurant. It sounds weird, but it works extremely well and was convenient. It was also very lively and a popular place amongst the locals. It has live music and singing at night, which is a nice uh, feature. <laughs> Zappi Zen. If you're craving pizza, Zappi Zen was popular amongst locals. 65 Brazilian reals or $13 USD for a pie. When in Brazil, take advantage of eating as much acai dessert. It's both delicious, healthy, and fresh in Brazil. Thank you for joining me this week in Bonito, Brazil, and hopefully I will see you guys at the next destination.